Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Greywell Entertainment. And I'm Zane Pendleton with Greywell and the Salt Pop Media site. Welcome to the Greywell Entertainment update for the release day of 7-23. Today, actually. We are doing this video a bit late because we were nerding out over the weekend. So we'll get started right away. Um, there's a lot of stuff that came out that's noteworthy and worth talking about. So to start off, got a, a new album from the band Fuck Buttons. Um, they actually are uh, kind of in that that group of people that are combining like dance music with weird, weird, weird influences. Um, but it's an electronic album, but every song varies in electronic influence from, you know, sounding industrial to sounding house-ish to sounding avant-garde, glitchy, whatever. Um, but it's really interesting and really fun to listen to. Gogo -Go Bordello has a new album. The, the world's most visionary band, says the Village Voice in New York. <laughs> Gogo Bordello is like what hippie punk? They're gypsies. Or They're a bunch me, gypsy of European punk. gypsies that play punk music. Um, if you pick these up at Greywell, uh, we have it on vinyl and CD. There's a some stores have a giant flag, like a gigantic flag. If you're the first one in to buy it, they'll give it to you. Um, also, there's free sweatbands and wristbands with this. So, cool little add-ons if you're a Gogo Bordello fan. New album for you. Got band called Drug Church. The album is called Paul Walker. I don't know if that's about Paul Walker from Fast and Furious, but maybe I it is. I hope so. I hope. Um, this is just straight up punk rock. Um, it sounds like a 90s, uh, like, um, reminds me of like Just Brazil when they're heavier and stuff like that. Yeah, just heavy punk rock, um, bit of hardcore. It's it's just really good. And they just kind of came out of nowhere. So, Mountain Goats have a reissue of All Hell West Texas. Um, this is one of the, this is, hasn't been in, out in years. If you're a fan of the Mountain Goats, this is a must-own. They've added a bunch of new stuff to it, um, and it does have the song The Best Ever Metal Band in Denton. The Best Ever Death Metal Band in Denton, which is a great song. So uh, this is on vinyl and CD as well. Pick this up. This is a great one if you're a uh, Mountain Goats fan. Got a new one from uh, Alpha and Omega. Um, this is, it says it's the midpoint between integrity, chromags, and a police chase. Says Punk News. Um, it's produced by Chad Gilbert and Newfound Glory, which you know initially Newfound Glory was a hardcore band, um, or yeah. But anyway, uh, you kind of know what to expect from this. It's on Bridge Nine. They're throwing the name chromags and integrity around. So uh, yeah, there you go. A couple. I'll do two rapid fire. Hunks and his punks has a new album. Uh, Shannon and the Clams are is backing people on his albums. Uh, they're they're basically the punks. They just released an album a few like a month ago. It's great throwback uh, '50s stuff mixed with weird garage punk. It's awesome. They have a good like cult following. Um, you should get on board. Hunks and his punks. New album is called Street Punk. It's very very good. I'm sure there's some dirty artwork on the inside too. Cause that's usually what they do. So check out this album. And also. Grant Hart has a new album called The Argument. Grant Hart is one of the founding members of Husker Du, one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, him and Bob Mould. He, this is an interesting mishmash of everything, all his solo stuff. That's his beautiful face on the back there. Um, very, very cool. This is also available on CD. You know, not just the, these are all available on CD and LP, so come pick up this as well. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, metal, punk, hardcore releases to run through all in a row. Um, on Death Wish, we've got Harm's Way, new album called Blinded. Um, this is what you would expect from Death Wish. It's metallic punk mixed with hardcore, and uh, it's it stands above a lot of the other stuff that's that's been released in that same vein. Um, so it's very good. We've also got Armed for Armed for Apocalypse, The Road Will End. Um, this is also similar. It's uh, it's just metal. It's straight metal with uh, punk and hardcore influences. Um, Got a band called Mammoth Grinder. They're on 20 bucks spin. Bet you can't guess what that sounds like. <laughs> yeah, so you already know what this sounds like probably. Uh, 20 bucks spin does a lot of like black metal, sludge, doom, uh, stuff like that. This is actually a lot faster than this. Songs are rarely over three minutes long, um, but it sounds real, real good. It's kind of a mix of thrash, thrash metal. So um, got the new album from Mourn. This is on Profound Lore. We always talk about Profound Lore and how good they are. The album is called Shadows. It's only got four tracks, but they're tracks that clock in like over 10 minutes on most of them. Um, this is just doom uh, mixed with like post-rock, post-metal. Um, very, very cool band. This is a big release this week. 
Um, also in the hardcore and punk and metal vein, we've got the new album from All Pigs Must Die. This album is called Nothing Violates This Nature. All Pigs Must Die is uh, on Southern Lord, um, but they're just really cool. Uh, they're produced, they're recorded and mixed by Kurt Ballou. He does everything with everybody. Um, but it's a really awesome mix of that entombed style. It features uh, a lot of members of bands you like and love, like Converge yeah. and other bands. So. Yeah, they're a little bit of a super group um, without advertising it in your face but it's a mix of hardcore and metal and punk and this album actually is a little bit of an evolution from the last one that came out uh so if you're a fan this will interest you a lot and if you haven't checked them out yet they've got one before this one as well so you should definitely get on that i've got uh also over live at roadburn um, we've talked about Over in the videos before. They're a black metal band um, that kind of morphed into like an avant-garde, just dark music in general. Um, this is Eulogy for the late 60s. It was a live thing recorded April 12th, 2012. It sounds like a late 60s psych record. It does that. It's not your typical Over stuff. It's them doing, I mean, they sound like a mix of Sabbath and you know, Strawberry Alarm Clock. Weird yeah, 60s it's stuff. Real weird, but very unusual, very cool. Um, and then I have a few vinyl releases to run through. We've got a new EP from Black Tusk called Tend to No Wounds. This is on Relapse. Always talk about Relapse as well. Um, has amazing artwork, really cool vinyl package. It's a six track EP. Um, it's available on CD as well, and it's Black Tusk. It's swampy southern metal mixed with rock, and uh, it sounds great. It's very cool. If I had to guess, that's John Baisley's artwork again. Yeah. I'm going to take a wild stab. I might be wrong, but that looks like it to me. Yeah. So. Also got uh, AC4, Burn the World. This comes with a free download. It's on clear vinyl. Um, it's the first press. This is on Death Wish as well, or released through Death Wish. This actually features Dennis uh, from Refused, who is, I mean, they're huge and ultra famous. And and uh, so this features vocals from him, and then it's uh, three other guys with him. And it's... A yeah. lot of short, heavy, pissed off punk songs. Yeah, you can kind of tell from the way it looks. Also with the EP stuff, Baroness has a live EP called Live at Maida, Maida Val. Maida yeah. Val. It's Valley. BBC Sessions, basically. Yeah, so um, it's got four tracks. They're from the new album, the Yellow Green double album. And these are, it's got more John Dyer Baisley artwork on the front. Comes in this nice package. And uh, is the vinyl colored on this one? No, it's black, but the B-side is hand etched. So it's uh, that this artwork etched onto the actual LP. So it's very, very cool. Very cool vinyl package. Very as limited well. too. There's not going to be a lot of those around. So if you're a fan of Baroness, go pick that up. And then uh, one more reissue from uh, Death Wish did this. From one. Death Wish, they did this one as well. Uh, this is one from the band Cursed. Uh, Cursed is just names. Their, they just named their albums one, two, three, um, and this is one being reissued. It's only fourteen ninety nine, but you get it on silver vinyl. This is the first press, and it comes with a free download card as well. So, um, as you can see, there's a recurring theme of stuff between Relapse and Death Wish uh, and Profound Lore all coming out with stuff at the same time. That's all very, very awesome. So, new album from Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Um, if you've ever seen these guys live, they're a ten-piece. They fill up the stage. They're, you know, monstrous vocals and big, sounding and fun. The records don't sound as big, but they're very, very good. Um, very pretty sounding, and they're really interesting and you know heartfelt, self not self non self conscious lyrics. Really awesome. Um, the new album is self titled. It comes on CD, and we have it on uh, LP as well at all the stores. So if you're a Edward Sharp fan, pick it up. It's been playing a lot locally on KRCL. Very good album. My favorite release of the week, one of my favorite bands, uh, True Widow on Relapse has a new album. The new album is called Circumambulation. I think I said that right. I nailed <laughs> so. it. This is a great band, one of my favorites. Three piece, male, female vocals, girl bass player, uh, great drummer. Shoegaze, not really metal by definition. Um, it's kind of mixed with, dr like there's a little bit of drone and uh, kind of a slow, there's like a slow groove to a lot of the songs, mixed vocals. Um, it's just awesome, like it's just perfect. It's not metal, but it's for people who enjoy metal, but also it's got that crossover appeal with people who, who don't normally like metal, but they'll like this band. I like to call it sure. heavy shoegaze, it's real good. Yeah. Um, if you buy or read Decibel Magazine, nothing against those guys, but don't, and you buy based on their, their reviews, they kind of pan this album. Don't read it. Don't worry about it. Pick this record up. This band is fantastic. 
it shouldn't have been reviewed by a metal person that doesn't like this kind of stuff. This is not a metal record, but it's, it's very, very good. It's absolutely one of the best releases this week. Yeah, it's great. A um, couple more, we'll just go real fast. The Love Language have a new album called Ruby Red. It's on Merge Records. Uh, Love, it's their third album, so I'll pick that up. Half Moon Run is a new band. Um, it's alternative rock, it says, but it's really more... It's more on the indie vein, so check that out. Hey Hello is Freako weird, uh, Freak freak Out Weirdo Music on The End Records. Really, really odd, goofy stuff. Um, the End Records just releases a lot of just amazingly weird and different stuff, so they're a really cool label to check out. Dig deep in them. Um, Ghostface Killa has his new album, The 12 Reasons to Die, came out, what, three, four months ago? This mm. is the well, maybe a little more recently. Okay, than that, a couple more, a couple months ago, and then there was a B-side record they gave out at Record Store Days on a cassette tape, and then this album. This is the Brown Tape, which is the alternative version. They basically record the album like three different times. It's, it's like a remix of the entire Twelve Reasons to Die album. But if you're a fan of that album and you listen to this, you'll pick out differences in the way yeah. that the songs it's are produced. Basically, produced. a completely different record. So it's like another Ghostface record right after the first one. So very, very it's cool. Very cool. And then of course. If you're ready, come and get it. Na 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 na. The new Selena Gomez stars dance. So for all you people that say we don't carry stuff for everyone, you're a liar. <laughs> there it is. Um, there's a th not as many movies coming out this week. Just some interesting smaller, you know, independents and stuff like uh, some of the film festival circuit ones. Trance by Danny Boyle. Uh, starring James McAvoy, Vincent Cassell, and Rosario Dawson. I haven't seen it. It played, you know, at a lot of the little art house theaters and stuff. Um, it's supposed to be really good. That's a new Danny Boyle movie. There is Twixt, which is a horror movie starring Val Kilmer and Elle Fanning, but it is directed and written by Francis Ford Coppola. First thing he's done in a really long time. So check out Twixt. Somebody, Fangoria gave it four out of four skulls, so that might, might be good. Uh, another horror movie issued with special artwork done by, uh, uh, is it, I don't know how to say her name, Jan or Zan, it's spelled weird, but it's Cassavetes, it's Nick Cassavetes daughter, this is one of her, this is her film, it's called uh, Kiss of the Damned, it's a horror movie, vampires obviously, uh, check that out. For all you sitting around talking shit about movie nerds, Mystery <laughs> Science 3000 volume 27. Um, we had 26 in a few months back and sold it out almost immediately. So if you guys are interested, come pick these up quick. It's uh, them, them tearing apart four new movies with a bunch of bonus features. They are tearing apart so. The Slime People, Rocket Attack USA, Village of the Giants, and The Deadly Mantis. So good stuff. Very funny, always. And last but not least, Super Jail Season 3. If you don't watch Super Jail and you're into sicko, weirdo, freak out, super fast, ultra-violent, weird stuff, you've got to check this show out. Season 1 and 2, they're never very expensive. They're like $19, so we get amused. They're pretty cheap, too. Um, Ten episodes in each season, so check this season out. This is where it gets... They really hit their stride with Season 3, and they're already greenlit for a Season 4. So It's an adult swim show. It's yep. uh, it's all traditionally hand-animated. It all looks like uh, sketches from the 80s. Yeah. Doodles and notebooks killing each other. Well, the first time I ever watched this show, it reminded me, I grew up watching Beavis and Butthead on, t on MTV, and there's a scene in Beavis and Butthead where they're in school to make an animation, their one episode, and it's like a plane crashing into Butthead's head, and Beavis gets stabbed by knives over and over, and it's just this weird little flipbook animation they do. This is like an uber acid out, freak out version Times of Times a thousand, <laughs> jam-packed, every screen frame has a million things happening. You can re-watch episodes and pick up on more that you didn't see the first time, so. Yeah, it's a great, it's great, a great show. Stuff. Um, well, sorry for the late video. This will be posted tomorrow. Uh, or, well, it'll be posted Wednesday, so you should see it then. And uh, we had a lot of fun at Comic-Con. That's why we're late, so sorry. Yeah. I'm not really that sorry. <laughs> and remember, uh, the Twilight Concert Series is going on all through the summer. Uh, shows are every Thursday. Flaming, and Flaming Lips this week. Flaming Lips is this week um, with CSS and support. And uh, you can pick up your tickets to every Greywell for $5.75. bucks and seventy-five $5.75. Um, they are cash only, but you can get your tickets for every show all the way through the summer so you don't have to worry about it anymore. And we have the albums available for all of those bands as well. So if you want to brush up or uh, you go see somebody and you really enjoy it, we'll be there selling albums for the bands and we'll have those albums available in our stores as well. Merch so. booth, if you're facing the stage at Twilight, is just off to the left over by the information booth. You can't miss us. Yep. So if you live in Salt Lake City, come see us and uh, say hi and we'll give you some stuff to, to buy.
Yeah, and then uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Graywell SLC and Facebook at Graywell. Uh, Facebook.com slash Graywell. And remember to go to saltpop.net for all the updates from the Salt Pop site. We tear apart pop culture, argue about stupid things with superheroes. And, uh, like Batman and Superman. Yeah, like the Batman movies. Superman movie. And uh, and we also have our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash saltpopofficial. And we are on Instagram and Twitter at saltpopofficial uh, as well. So uh, check us out. Thanks a lot.